Vikings, what's up? So right now, Hong Kong is going on, and my clan is up against a clan called Bishes United, which is a great name. You Bish. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> Love the clan name, simply adore it. Um, they have some really good fighters here. As you can see, some of these stats are absolutely amazing. Um, so they have some good ones and then some uh, okay ones. They have a lot of freaking good ones. This one's okay, but the rest of them are pretty good. This is going to be a fight for Home Gong. So this is definitely going to be a fight. And my clan was actually up against the BSV clan for last Home Gong. And we ended up losing, of course, because they're like a 150 trillion clan. And my clan is like 50 trillion. So yeah, um, we ended up failing, but we gave it our best. So we are back at stage one. And uh, we got placed against this clan here. So let's see how my clan does. I'm pretty sure we're going to win this one, but never underestimate the enemy. And that is always a good strategy to take to the battlefield. So let's see how much time we have here. Okay, we have eight minutes before we attack the forts. We have a six, a one, and a two. So obviously these are going to be taken now pretty fast. I have my boosts on. And I'm going to put my ace here on now. Okay, so I'm just going to sit here and wait. Okay, Vikings, I'm about to join an onslaught to attack the fort. Okay, that one's taken out quite easily. Let's see. Two will be taken out soon. Okay, two is taken out. So now we're just going to go over to six and wait for this one. And burned. <laughs> okay, quite easily because it was simply just a level six fort. The higher they are, the more onslaughts we're going to have to send at them. Okay, so now we have a very long wait. <laughs> we have to sit here and wait. Fortunately for you all, I get to pause the video. So you don't have to sit here and wait with me. Okay guys, I'll see you for the next phase. Okay, so we're finally starting and we're going to defend the forts. We have an eight, a five, and a three. So we're mainly focusing on the eight and the five. Okay, so they went ahead and burned the three. All of the island guard troops in level five. Okay, here they come again. Okay, they're definitely coming at us full force now and they're sending multiple onslaughts at us so it looks like they have four to five onslaughts going at one they have definitely taken out all the island guard troops and they're just working on our t7s now okay it looks like they're gathering up another onslaught or at least a few more okay here they come again Get the fuck out. Okay, it seems we're actually able to hold this level 5. Okay, so they're actually uh, hitting us pretty damn hard now, huh? They're mad. Okay, they're mad guys, so they're gonna try a little bit harder. Yeah. My troops are holding up. There are multiple onslaughting right now. There is still nine minutes left for us to defend the level five and the level eight. They haven't really started on the level eight yet. They're just simply working on the five. My troops are still at max in there. Okay, they took out 5 million there. Okay, so it looks like they're not even um, timing it out. They're just sending marches when they want to send marches, which really isn't a good idea. They should probably time it out better and go at the same time. Hey, they're taking out my troops though, so... <laughs> if the strategy works for them, then that's good. Sometimes it's better to have a little bit more of an organized strategy for more of an impact. 
Yeah, if they're not going to be able to take out this level 5, if they're not going to be able to take out this level 5, then they probably won't have too much of a chance for the level 8. Oh, they come back for the 5, right? Yeah, they did. Let's check my warriors. 14 million. A lot of battle reports here. I really can't show battle reports. Um, I'm not allowed to because of the clan I'm in. Um, my war council says I cannot show battle reports. I have to blur out my side of the reports. So I'll go through that later and show them separately so when I actually edit this video, it'll be easier to cover up those other battle reports. Okay, I'm going to recall and refill. Oops. I got kicked out, guys. Oh, they're finally starting to hit the level A. Uh, okay, okay. Smart decision. <laughs> because if we're focusing on one, we're not seeing the other. Yeah, they definitely hit this level 8, guys. So, good thing we had troops in both. They definitely hit the 8 now. Alright, they switched up from the level 5 to the level 8. Okay, so um, we're waiting for them to attack the level 8 or the level 5. We're actually able to hold both of these. So Home Gong is looking promising for my clan. I'm pretty sure we're going to be winning Home Gong, which is really awesome because Battle Theory is this week, and we could really use those extra military bonuses you get for winning Home Gong. Let me check my troops. Okay. Still good. We're doing really good. Um, making a lot of shards. I actually need a lot of shards in order to upgrade my town skin. I'm on the very last level of my town skin. And it requires an insane amount of soul shards. So yeah, any I can make is definitely welcomed. Alright, so we got three minutes left in our defense. And they hit us again. Check my march. Six million. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and definitely... Uh, Boost, boost, boost. Go, go, go. Son of a fuck. <laughs> that space is for me. Ah, oh, you motherfucker from hell. All right, we're, all, we're fine. I mean, I love you. <laughs> Can I, like, what about five? Okay, nah. Fine. You hitting the, are they hitting the fives again? I don't know. I don't know if they're giving up. Or, um, I mean, like, it's only a few minutes until this phase ends. They're not gonna try anymore, I feel like. I can't get into any tower right now, anyways. <laughs> one minute left and it looks like this home gong is already won <laughs> my clan is definitely taking the win here we were able to hold the level five and the level eight and they were able to hold those towers and when the enemy clan did their defense we were actually able to kill their fortresses so i'm pretty sure that my clan has won this home gong oh jesus they just burned our fucking clan mate let me see. Okay, so they got mad because they couldn't take down our fortress. So they ended up burning one of our little dudes. He only had like, um, 200 million. And a lot of them were like T4 anyways. He only had like 30 million T7. So they really didn't get too much off him. It was just a tiny amount. And it's not going to make a difference because they're not going to be able to tie with us since we were able to defend our fortresses and they weren't. This home gong is basically over and we won. Very cool. So, um, let's go make some more shards. Alright, so that basically does it for this home gong. My clan will be winning and it was definitely a really good try to this clan here. 
considering they are lower influence than us, which I really didn't even realize that. You know, I really think it's absolutely unfair when a clan gets put up against a clan that doesn't match their influence. It murders me. I can't stand to see that. So really good try, guys. I had no idea that you were, um, you were under influenced. So chances are you weren't going to have as many players on or could do the damage that my clan could do. So good try to this clan and um, thank you for coming and giving us shards or whatnot. Okay, it's time to attack the forts. Now these are going to burn really easily. Okay, so there goes that one. We hit five and they're holding up. Okay, we burn the three, and now we're just working on the five. Okay, here we go. And we burned it. Wow, look at all the warriors come home. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. That's amazing. Oh, that's a lot of warriors. Alright guys, we burned their forts in a matter of a few minutes. This is definitely a win for my clan. Oh, we just burned them. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> Good call. We uh, we were able to burn that lady. <laughs> Sorry. You guys burned one of ours. It's only fair. <laughs> oh, that was fun. Alright, so we're waiting for them to hit our level 2 fort. It's the only one left. They burned the level 1 and the level 4. Okay, so here they come. Yay! We're getting checkpoints. That's really awesome. Let's check it out, actually. We're, I think we got checkpoint 14. I'm not sure. <laughs> or we're about to. Okay, here they come back. Lots of shards. Taking some of my warriors out. I won't refill until my warriors get close to the end because I like to be fair and uh, make sure everybody gets a chance to get into the fort. I don't want to constantly keep reloading to max because I know my clan mates want in there as well. Always good to have the mentality to be fair to your clan mates. So right now we're definitely winning our home gong. They are continuing to hit our level 2 but they have not been able to take it down. I have 13 million in there right now. Okay, they hit us again, and I'm down to 13 million still. Let me check now. 13 million. Not too bad. So we're doing pretty good. They're not really doing too much damage to us. And we're able to hold this level 2-4. Now we still have 3 minutes left, so... Let's see if they can take down this level 2 in the next 3 minutes. I'm pretty sure no. <laughs> And yeah, we definitely held this level too. But it was a really good try for the enemy clan and definitely give them a lot of credit for trying against such a big clan like mine. So we for sure won our home gong. So let me know in the comment section below, how was your home gong? Did you win? Did you lose? Did you get onslaughted? Did you burn? Did you onslaught someone? <laughs> Anything interesting happen? Let me know in the comment section. All right, Vikings, I will talk to you next time. But until then, stay safe out there.
walk a lonely road The only one that I have ever known Don't know where it goes But it's home to me and I walk alone I'm walking down the line that divides me somewhere in my mind On the borderline of the edge and where I walk alone